what you're witnessing here isn't just a historical reenactment. It's history in the making. For the first time ever, Medieval Times has a female monarch. We're outside of Medieval Times in New Jersey. It's a dreary day, but inside something magical is happening. For the first time in 34 years, they're having a queen oversee the ceremonies in place of a king. Their castle is well protected and fortified. It seems that we're going to have to find a new way in. For 34 years, the chain jousting tournament slash dining experience has followed the same basic formula with only two roles specifically for women, a beautiful and passive princess, and of course, the serving wenches who bring guests their goblets of mead. But now the dark ages are coming into the light with a new show that finally has a woman at the center. The power to wage war lies not with you, Lord Cedric. It lies with the queen, and I am queen here. This is a big deal for me personally, as a frequent guest of Medieval Times, who has always been annoyed by the lack of women in the show. In all, there are five women who take turns playing the role of Queen Doña Maria Isabella. One of them, Jess, was making her debut that evening. How did you feel when you first learned about this new script? This role is completely different. Queen Isabella is in charge of everything. You're not defined by your relationship to a man in any way? No, no. Oh my gosh, she's not married. In fact, there's a point in the show where her advisor says, we have all these knights here. They're very handsome, aren't they? And, and she says, well, what does that have to do with the tournaments? And a gathering of the finest knights, each a champion in his own right. Oh, uh, and a handsome lot at that, and um, quite eligible, I might add. <laughs> eligible? Uh, why, whatever has that to do with the tournament? There's kids coming in mm -hmm. to learn about what medieval times were like. And instead of seeing like an old king figure, they're seeing a female ruler who's strong and independent. It's something new that we're all very, very excited to embrace. And we're all gonna be, I think, role models now for these kids, not just little girls, but hopefully boys too, and show them you have to respect yourself and you have to respect others. Doing the show, you also have to like go out and greet your fans and talk to them. How are you preparing for that? And like, what are you most looking forward to about that? I am um, definitely have uh, thought about the change in my character from princess to queen and, you know, just everything from the way I'm going to be holding myself up, you know, my, my stature and just, you know, there's no longer any curtsying going to be going on anymore because a queen doesn't curtsy to people anymore. You She's know? curtsy too. It, exactly, yes. We spoke to Lee Cordner, a former king and the writer of the new script, about why he decided to finally abdicate his throne to a woman. How does the queen role differ from the king's role? You know, the king was strong, and I never felt like I had to write anything that made the king sound strong. But with her, I realized that there was a whole different dynamic at work. She could look strong and be strong, and we could make her strong in the show. But I, I felt like the icing on the cake was giving her a couple of opportunities in the show to say it out loud. You've been working on this for a while, but it's sort of coming out at this very pivotal moment. You've seen the feminist movement gaining so much steam and having this tipping point. How do you think this kind of like fits into the current cultural landscape? I started working on the show about 18 months ago, and even if we didn't have a queen, we had definitely planned on escalating that female presence in the show. What we have been noticing is little girls after the show, oh, I love the queen, you know, and I could be the queen, and or just seeing a strong woman in a strong role. If we can help the conversation doing that, that's great. But you know, our show's not about politics. After consuming a chicken with my bare hands, I stepped out to reflect on the night's events. As I was waiting for a camera woman to change her lens, horrible news arrived. The knight who had won the contest apparently went into the crowd to make me his queen, only to find my seat empty. They were in the crowd, me? Yeah, they like marched up there and you weren't there and all of you was like, what the f 
fuck, guys? You just ruined the best day of my life. This is insane. How did you guys forget about that? Throughout the night, many people who worked at the Medieval Times Castle told me they hoped to empower girls and teach them that they too could become regent of a fictional castle. But as I learned the hard way, not everyone gets to be queen. Mm -hmm.